Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link right there. We're going to try Mondo Llama from Target. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, first of all, we're not sponsored by Target or Mondo Llama. I just saw this at Target and I thought, I wonder if it's any good. Like, I go through their craft section all the time and sometimes I just pick up the glitter I need or the glue that I need. And I never really try their acrylic paints that they've got. So I did pick up Mondo Llama. And this is the color Gooey Marshmallow. And I wanted to try it and see if it was any good. I mean, it's getting harder and harder to find paints and craft supplies. The only thing I was worried about after I got it home, I noticed, can you see that there's paint right there? So I'm like, did someone open this? And I opened the top and it's not open, but there is definitely paint inside the cap. So I don't know if that's a, and on the, on the collar here. So I don't know if something happened in shipping, if that's a manufacturing defect. But let's get it open here. Gooey. Ew. It doesn't smell like regular acrylic paint, but it is gooey. It's sort of an off-white that I picked. I'm going to be painting a cake stand. So I've already got it primed. I did some repairs on it. I, it had a big hole in the middle that somebody tried to actually screw it down to the base instead of repairing it correctly. If you want to know all, all about the repairs, that'll be on peonylanedesigns.com. There'll be a whole post on this cake stand. Um, cake stands are nice to have, especially in the shop, because you can set things on them. It does have a dome. It's a plastic dome. This was clearly from the 1970s or early 80s. And it has a wooden handle that I can no longer find, so we're going to have to put something a little prettier than that on it. But I want to try the Mondo Llama. I think that's how you say it. The, the marshmallow, gooey marshmallow on this stand. So I'm going to do this with the off-white color. Kind of give it more a, of a modern farmhouse look. And then it had before. So I've primed it top and bottom. We're all set. We're all ready to go. So I'm going to get you guys pointed at the work surface, which is littered with Christmas crafting right now. It has been time to Christmas craft for the shop and uh, we're just going to have to sweep that all away and get our Mondo Llama on. There's just no good way of filming this, honestly. So I'm going to shake the paint up. It's pretty thick. It's water-based. So if it is too thick, I can um, thin it out with just a little bit of water. The primer that I've got on it is a high tack primer, so we should be all set. Dry one hour between coats, fully dry in 24 hours. Well, that's a long drying time. You can oven bake this thing onto glass, it says, so cool. That's kind of neat. What are you guys seeing? I have no idea. All right, so I got that, sh whoa. That was a Mondo bubble, Mondo Llama bubble. I'm gonna just use my brush for acrylic paint here. It's kind of a small brush for such a big surface, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, it's not very opaque. Yeah, it's not covering very well. I mean, yes, it's a streaky surface to begin with, but this is very thin. It's not very pigmented, it stinks doesn't smell like acrylic paint. It has a weird smell. I don't know what that smell is. Well, this is coat one. And it didn't cover very well. I mean, you can see that. And I gave it a good chance because it had the primer on it, but uh, it doesn't cover right. It's not great coverage. So I'm going to uh, 
do coat two and hope that it covers. Well, if this goes to four, I'm going to be really unhappy. It's already getting thick brush marks on it, so I'm going to have to sand it just a little bit to smooth the top out before I give it another coat because I don't want this kind of brush marks on it. I'm not totally loving this. So I'm going to move on to a different project while this dries. I'm back. I found the knob for the top of the dome, but I'm not happy. This is like four coats. Can you see how uneven and blotchy it is? So part of me is ready to give up. I don't know that I want to do five or six coats on this thing. It's so blotchy, guys. I can already tell you that I would not use this. I mean, I primed it first and it's still not pretty. And I'm wondering if maybe if I just didn't prime it and I started out on the raw wood. So I'm going to try that on the knob. Maybe the primer is what's causing a problem. I really don't think so. But in an effort to give this the best chance that it can possibly have to succeed. I'm going to try it on the raw wood before I make my judgment of whether or not it's any good. Because maybe I'm only seeing blotchy because the primer was blotchy. Y'all, I'm just not, not impressed so far. I mean, the coverage is not good. Um, let's try this. Let's try this. Because then we'll know for sure. Because there's nothing particularly wrong with this. It's not going to create any weird patterns as far as I know. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's find a paintbrush. Okay, I'm just going to use tiny little paintbrush here. There's coat one, which kind of looks like what's on the base already. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to cover in the first coat, just based on the other parts. But let's just keep trying here. I think I'm going to have to paint this screw and washer too, because unfortunately it's really black. It's really, really dark, and I'm like, eh, I don't think so. I think that's gonna work on the white. I wish this is a really off, off white. All right, there's coat one. So, I mean, honestly, we didn't expect it to coat perfectly on coat one. It looks okay. It's definitely blotchy. Um, why do I do this to myself? Now I have nowhere to put it. And while that's drying, I'm going to get another coat of paint on this. I'm getting really frustrated with that. Okay, guys, it's time to wrap this up. This is three coats. 
it's still extremely blotchy. Um, it's not coating well at all. The fifth coat did not make this any better. I'm going to call it. And I'm going to say that this is a good craft paint in the same way that Crayola is a good craft paint. I mean, it's, it's meant for more basic crafting. It's not for what I'm doing, which is furniture and home decor or things that you actually, you know, want to sell. If you're doing this for yourself, you might not be bothered by this, but I know my clients are going to be wildly irritated by that. I mean, they won't buy it. So I need to give up on this. I'm not going to do a sixth coat to try and get it to work. It just can't. So, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on the kids craft shelf. I mean, it's going to, it's going to be probably great for like Victoria's art projects and things like that. It's not horrible it is paint it, it works like paint but it's just not a very high pigmented paint and it doesn't cover very well so I mean this was this was my last attempt at trying to get um mama mondo llama was a mondo disappointment <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I Target, I love you. You know I love you. I'm not sponsored by Target. And I just want to say that like 90% of the time Target stuff is great. But there is a 10% of the time that you're like, mm, really wanted that to be better. This was really one of those times that I wanted it to be better. I wanted there to be more pigment. Um, the true test of any paint, any water-based paint is a white paint or a light colored paint to see how pigmented it is. I mean, anybody, if you took black could cover. So if you're not planning on painting white, maybe black will work great for you. Or if you wanted a darker color of their craft paint, maybe a red or a hot pink or they come in a wide variety of colors. But this is how I test paint to see how they're, you know, if they're pigmented or not clearly not as pigmented as I would like it to be because I can't sell this so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop just because I it's just no point I mean there's no point it might be great for what I'm doing if I was doing a dry brush where I didn't actually want to cover the piece and there are those instances and that's probably how I'll use up this paint but it is not going to work for this. So I'm going to just, I'm going to call it off. We're going to probably take Martha's spray paint out and go hit it with some spray paint. I mean, it's just, I'm kind of done. That's it. I'm just kind of done with it. I, I do not want to paint a sixth coat of this paint. And then it shows up like this again. And I'm like, oh no. Come on, cover, cover. I just want it to cover. I just need this to be done and off my plate, so I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna say I would choose a different paint from this one. I would not use it for this, but you know, art projects with your kid or a dry brushing, and maybe if you're using a dark color, I mean, it works as a paint. It's a paint, it does paint. It just doesn't cover light to dark very well. So if that's your goal, then this is not your paint. So thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junkin shirts, don't forget to click the links below. Makes a great Christmas gift, but order soon. Um, <laughs> and if you would like to send me a thrift flip challenge, the PO box is where you would send that. It's also linked in the description below. And if you want to send me a coffee, it helps this channel generate better content for you guys. It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. So thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.